Very briefly tell you that or Goran Ivanisevic has destroyed Bogdan Olirak. 6-4, 6-2, 6-2 in no time at all. And Ben Karbacher has match point against Paul Harhouse. But this is Chang at four all in the fourth. It's those sort of shots that Edberg has been missing in this set. Perhaps he's just playing a little bit too carefully. Maybe he's trying to make sure he hits the ball in and and he's changing the whole rhythm of the stroke. We obviously didn't see the Goran Ivanisevic's play, but one has to assume it was pretty darn good. Michael Chang is being playing pretty darn good again. Carl clearly expecting a fifth. <laughs> Regripping the next racket. Love game Chang. Two successive love service games. Five four. Edberg will have to serve to stay in the set. Michael Chang leads five four, but Stefan Edberg leads by two sets to one. But Edberg has had his chances, you feel, in this set against a, a hurt Chang, but hasn't been able to take them. That's another good uh, backhand volley, and as Michael walked past uh, Mike Morrissey, the umpire, he said something to him, and then kept walking, and then Mike Morrissey got it again onto the walkie-talkie to speak to somebody. Well, Edberg showing that the backhand volley into the forehand corner is just as good. Have a look at it again. It's a very high return of serve. Chang can't get there, so you know it was a great backhand volley. Just coming up to the two and a half hour mark now. Ben Karbacher has beaten Paul Harhas in four sets. He'll play Ivanisevic in the last 16. And surprise, surprise, Thomas Muster is already on top of uh, Adrian Voynaire. 6-2-1 love with a break. Muster remorseless as always. Single play. Single play. Edberg answers the love service game with one of his own, and it's five all in the fourth. I'm glad to say that was the net post, and not the head of the net of the ball boy. <laughs> that will fall from Chang, a fourth. Just the one from Edberg.
good reply. Hedberg's not making his forehand returns now, is he? Not at all. And when he does make them, they're not good enough. Straight at you at 188. You can see it in the left of the screen. Eight aces each they've served. Well, this is a big point coming up now. Five all, 30 all. Wasn't that good a return of serve. Pretty bad. 6 5 then, Chang. Edberg will have to try and take it into a tie break. Chang's going to the toilet. Michael Chang is back with us. Stefan Edberg uh, wasn't too impressed by the timing of the bathroom break. Because he's got to serve to stay in the set and try and force a tie break. Players are entitled uh, to go to the bathroom, but uh, it's it is felt by many of the players that some players, I'm not saying Michael in this instance, uh, some players abuse that right. They have to go at the most appropriate time <laughs> for them. <laughs> yes, and you're allowed to go twice in a best of five set match. It's a fine backhand approach. There really is nothing wrong with it. Perhaps uh, he was a little bit too wide when he hit the ball to have come into the net. He's vulnerable to the cross-court pass, as you saw there. He would have also been vulnerable to pass back down the line. And Chang frustrated this time. Had a chance there. Uh, goes to a tie break. Might be an interesting one. That's a good forehand volley. That's his best forehand volley, the one that goes cross court. And that's a huge serve. The one swinging into the body, jamming Chang. And producing that. Nice, easy put away. Hedberg really pumped up. Ah! Six all. Tie break. Tony Pickard leading the applause for Edberg.
Well, he can do that now. When he was coaching Stefan, he really never did anything. You know, he didn't applaud. He didn't nod his head too much. You know, he was just unemotional when he was the coach. Now that he's not the coach, he just one of the many, many fans. Yeah. Chang serving start of the tie break. Good beginning. Every point Edberg wins now, it seems, is, is met with a shaking of the Swedish fist. Normally so unemotional, but he wants this so much, it would mean so much to him. He reads where the first ball is going, but he can't catch up to the second. He just didn't do a good enough job with his backhand passing shot attempt. Now all the pressure on Michael. Oh dear. And fifth double fault. And in a tie break, you always feel that a double fault is a double, double dagger, dagger through your own heart. I'm sure he'll chip and charge if he possibly can on this point. She can hardly contain the smile. How proud she will be, Annette Edberg. If Habib can pull this one off, he has too many breaks. He leads 4-1. He's got two serves to come. It's there for the taking, but it still has to be taken against a man who will give you not an inch. 4-1. Stefan Edberg. Chang's forgotten to change ends. Is two points away from what will be a famous victory. Against an albeit hurting opponent, but not a crippled opponent. Chang has shown us enough in this fourth set. Yes, I, I firmly believe that when you walk on a tennis court, uh, you're not ill and you're not injured. If you are ill or injured, you shouldn't walk on the court. And then if something happens during the match, of course, that's a different thing. Edberg is just rolling back the years. It's as if it was the end of the 80s, the early 90s. The serves are telling, the volleys are decisive, and it's five match points. It's long. It doesn't mean as much to Edberg as if he'd won in 1989, but he's gained his revenge. And a packed centre court at Rodon Garros rises to acclaim a great victory by a great man.